Hi, this is Manu from Motor Scribes. And what we've got over here for you today is something absolutely fantastic and fascinating. I've got the Tata Altros racer with me today. And we're gonna be checking it out on the highway. We're gonna be checking it out on a track. And we're gonna see what this car is all about. Does it hold to the racer pedigree? And what exactly does that racer pedigree mean to the normal day-to-day -day user? So join me on this video. We're gonna take a look at it in depth on a highway. We're gonna to talk to you about its performance, its design, its capabilities. And then we're gonna take it out on a track and we're gonna see exactly what this vehicle can do on a track as well. So come on, join me on this ride with the Tata Altros Racer. So we're behind the, the steering wheel of the Tata Altros uh, Racer. It's an exciting new product from uh, Tata Motors. And uh, you know, just walking you through what this product is all about. So uh, before I got into this product, you know, you take a look at it, uh, a side angle view, a front angle view, and it's absolutely spectacular. It's a nice proportioned uh, product, uh, sitting on 16 inch uh, rims. Uh, it's uh, shot with 180, 65 uh, uh, tires uh, on a 16 inch rim. And uh, it looks incredibly proportionate, you know. So when you get into it, it uh, sits really nice. It looks great in your parking uh, lot. And, um, you know, it's uh, something that, uh, you know, it, it will turn heads. So uh, this particular one that I've got is in a flaming orange and uh, black, uh, uh, you know, livery, okay, with the racing stripes as well, which is a touch that uh, Tata has put onto the racer series of uh, the Altros. Uh, it's, uh, you know, sold more than 1.7 million units for Tata. And uh, so this particular one is comes with uh, a 1.2 liter uh, petrol engine, uh, 120 PS of power and 170 Newton meters of torque. Okay, so that is the peak torque, uh, you know, uh, output uh, that you're getting out of this vehicle. And that uh, makes uh, this package actually quite zippy. Now, a little bit more in terms of, you know, about this vehicle, you know, how it drives the performance and everything. So. Uh, you know, the exterior, the fit and finish, you know, all of that is absolutely brilliant. It's a really nice head turner. And, you know, when you get in the racing stripes, the racing sort of ideology, it flows through the cabin. You know, the seats have the racing stripes. There's uh, orange decals around the uh, AC vents. Uh, you know, there's uh, lighting, the mood lighting and everything sort of reflects the entire uh, racing, um, you know, heritage racing terminology that this Altros is, um, you know, sort of being built to be synonymous with. So it's, it's, a, it's a very interesting sort of product placement that they've got for this uh, product. Um, uh, they want to attract the younger adventurous buyer. Uh, you know, India is becoming younger and younger and uh, that buyer wants exciting products. and. Uh, uh, you know, Tata Motors is looking at slotting, uh, you know, the Altros racer right in there. And, you know, so far, you know, I've been driving this out on the highway. It's actually a fun product, you know. Um, uh, so a little bit more in terms of, you know, how this product sort of comes together. You know, I was talking to you about uh, uh, the fit and finish, uh, you know, uh, getting behind the driver's seat. It's height adjustable. So it's actually uh, pretty convenient even for a person who's a little over six feet uh, tall to get into and uh, you know operate it's very comfortable for me to uh, sit in and uh, you know get to the right driving position uh, there's great lumbar support and uh, ventilated seats as well which uh, you know really help with the, the hot Indian summers that uh, you know we have to deal with so uh, in terms of the ergonomics I, I think it uh, you know fits really well uh, I had a couple of friends in uh, the car a little earlier you know so getting four people in the car is actually quite comfortable so it's, it's not a cramped space uh, and it's something that you know four uh, you know friends could go out on a road trip for and actually have a great uh, great trip so uh, it, it wouldn't be uncomfortable so, uh, you know, one of those features is uh, obviously, uh, you know, something which is becoming ubiquitous in um, uh, a lot of the new technology vehicles out here today is your infotainment system, which is uh, in some ways the heart of, uh, you know, managing, controlling and actually enjoying the vehicle that uh, you own. 
So uh, this particular uh, infotainment system, it comes in two different uh, specifications. Uh, we'll have the sizes up here on the screen for you to take a look at. So um, the infotainment system comes with the uh, you know wireless uh, and USB uh, CarPlay as well as Android Auto. Uh, it is, uh, you know, uh, it, it controls uh, your volume, it controls a lot of the settings, it has a Alexa, you know, uh, uh, car to home uh, functionality, uh, it, it's all very new age. So it'll give you all of your uh, car controls, it'll give you a lot of data readout, it'll give you a lot of information about your uh, vehicle. Uh, you know, you can go through, you know, play around with the settings and, uh, you know, really customize the vehicle, the, uh, you know, every, everything that you need uh, for you and your utility. Uh, the AC units are uh, haptic controlled, so uh, they actually have, uh, you know, the dials and, uh, uh, you know, the, 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 the fan blower settings are uh, haptic. So which means, you know, you can uh, press them up and down. It actually makes it easier rather than, uh, you know, playing around on a monitor. So that, that's actually something uh, which I like about this car is that, you know, the controls are, um, you know, very easy to use and within easy reach without really having to take your eyes off the road. So uh, in terms of uh, other, uh, you know, sort of uh, the, the central console is actually very simple. It's very neat. Uh, you know, it ensures that uh, you can stay focused on the road. The AC controls are within easy reach and, uh, you know, will ensure that uh, your cabin is al always comfortable. Uh, Tata has actually got a very interesting feature in here where they have, um, uh, you know, an interesting uh, a mode called Express Cooling On, okay, where you press a button and it actually pumps up the AC even more. And I guess again, uh, for, uh, you know, 50 degree summers in different parts of the country, um, you know, that would be a great feature uh, to have. Luckily, we don't have a very hot day, you know, where we're shooting uh, today. And, uh, you know, this is where a lot of the magic really happens. Right, so you, you have, um, you know, a flat bottom steering wheel. It's got orange stitching on the leatherette uh, wrapping around the wheel. Okay, again, keeping to that sporty theme, okay, which is uh, really fun. And what's really nice is, again, you know, the attention to detail that Tata has put into this is that even on the dashboard, you have that sport logo. You know, it's constantly reminding you that this is the Alpros racer and it is meant to be driven. It's meant to be, uh, you know, it's meant to have, uh, you know, you're meant to get behind it and, uh, you know, have a lot of fun driving this. So, um, you know, all in all, it's actually a lovely uh, package. You know, so you've got your dashboard controls and added to that, you have your uh, steering uh, inputs. Okay, so you have your uh, cruise control, you have your volume control, and you have your voice command uh, controls right on the steering wheel, which allow you to, uh, you know, sort of give the commands, you know, open the sunroof, you know, do other, uh, you know, interesting commands to control your vehicle. Okay, and that is all uh, sort of uh, built in on the steering wheel. So, you know, you get it out on a highway, which uh, is what I'm doing right now, and this car just flies through the gears, right? You know, you're notching it up to three digit speeds, is effortless okay um, uh, that torque uh, allows you to uh, manage maneuvers on the highway like overtaking uh, like uh, ensuring that you're weaving through traffic with ample power because sometimes uh, you know just dealing with a lot of these traffic uh, situations you want to ensure that you have the power to deal with uh, uh, those situations and this car comes with oodles of uh, power you know to uh, deal with all of that so uh, that, that is something really fun. I've not tried to, uh, you know, break uh, a top speed record. That is something that, uh, uh, you know, we'll do on the track. Uh, but the 0 to 100, uh, as claimed by the company, is 11.3 uh, seconds. Uh, we're going to try and see if we can, uh, you know, notch it up to a number as close as that. Um, but, uh, you know, having said that, 11.3 seconds is fast, you know. It's, uh, uh, you know, ultimately this is a hatchback. Um, and, uh, you know, sort of driving at those speeds is, um, is fun. Uh, however, you want to be able to ensure that you do that in a safe and, uh, yeah, you know, in a, in a very safe uh, manner. As we're talking about safety, uh, I'd like to bring your attention to the fact that the Tata Altros Racer is a GN Cap 5-star rated uh, product. 
Uh, it comes with the standard two uh, airbags up front. It's got uh, the side uh, airbags as well as the curtain airbags for the driver and the passenger safety. Uh, the car comes with a host of other safety features. It's got your uh, ABS, it's got your EBD. Uh, I'm not here to try uh, out those features. I'm not looking at doing any hard braking over here, but uh, it does have that facility and will ensure safety of uh, uh, the passengers in the vehicle, you know, uh, um, you know, should uh, the need arise. But what we get to do is something really exciting today, and that is to take this vehicle out on track. And uh, you know, when we take it out on track, we're going to talk a lot more about how this vehicle functions uh, on the track, and uh, you know how it behaves in a high-stress environment. And I think that's going to be a lot of fun to uh, you know really check out and uh, uh, see what this vehicle is capable of. So the second part of the test was about getting this Altros racer out on a track. So we are here at the Coimbatore Coast track and uh, it is 3.8 kilometers of absolute exhilaration. Now uh, while this car is meant for a highway and city driving, it has the racer pedigree to it. Uh, we got on a lap around uh, this track with uh, Narayan Karthikeyan and uh, he took us on a hot lap and just showed us what this car is completely capable of. While we can't drive the way he drives, uh, you know, we did have a lot of fun uh, taking this car out on a couple of really, really fast laps. Uh, the car holds, the chassis is impeccable. I mean, it holds really well. The hydraulic clutch that they have uh, installed this car with does a phenomenal job allowing for quick changes, allowing for, uh, you know, really good handling. A couple of things that you see on the track with uh, a car like this is uh, the fact that there's negligible body roll. I mean, there's absolutely nothing that uh, you can actually talk about in terms of uh, the car rolling, uh, losing its line and, uh, you know, uh, managing to keep, uh, uh, you know, sort of acceleration in line, managing to keep, uh, you know, movement, uh, you know, very, very sort of forward motion. There's very little lateral motion in this entire uh, uh, vehicle even while uh, flipping it around from fast corners. Uh, Narayan was talking about the fact that uh, you know they've worked on eliminating understeer in uh, this vehicle and that has done uh, you know magic in terms of you know what this vehicle is uh, capable of doing even on a fast track performance. So uh, you know what we have here is a vehicle that does two things incredibly well. One is it manages the highway environments incredibly well. Uh, it will manage your city traffic. It's a fast, peppy engine. The 120 PS, 170 Newton meters of torque does absolutely, uh, you know, the work underneath the hood uh, on this uh, car. Uh, handling it on uh, a track, man, for those of you who go out, step out, you know, invest in one of these, you're going to have a ton of fun if you can ever get this on a track as well. So, you know, with that, I, I think the verdict on uh, the Altros uh, racer is that it is definitely, you know, something which is incredibly fun to buy. And I think where Tata has pegged it for the adventurous, I think this is going to be a phenomenal product for, uh, uh, you know, those people who really want to live life large to, uh, you know, mess around with. So uh, with that, you know, uh, do take a look at, uh, you know, what we have uh, in this video and please drop us all the questions uh, that you have about the car, its performance, its styling, anything else that comes to mind. We'd love to answer those questions for you.